Grand Riot was the first people to come here near to give us awareness about forest. You must protect your forest. Your future is very important. Your children's future. This is what Grand Riot told us. In a way that I see, is forest is so important. It's, it's really important for people living in a village and yeah, places like Hanstein Range because everything that they need or they do, it's everything just come out from the forest and all this. So that's why we describe Hanstein Range just like a big supermarket, which there's no checkout. Since 1989, the Greenlight Trust has been working with two remote tribes from the Hunston Range in Papua New Guinea. The aim is to help them conserve their home, 2,000 square miles of threatened virgin rainforest. Sarah Narius and myself, Simon Swale, we're volunteers on behalf of uh, Greenlight for this particular piece of work that's happened over the last few days. Um, we're in the Hunstein Range at the moment, we're in Wagu, we've been to Kagaru, and uh, the purpose for us being here has been to uh, assist people in the process of deciding who is going to come to, uh, to, to Suffolk, to the Greenlight uh, Centre, if you like, in uh, Lawshaw. I think it is good because they must go down there to see what kind of uh, country is England and what the climate is down there. Because it's different from our climate here. In Wagu, Hastings Range, we have different uh, climate here because we have a forest. The forest is so, so massive that the, um, the people are so living in little Air, you know, little communities, and they are so well. For me, it looks like they are so isolated for a lot from a lot of um, services. Green light people are there. Organizations they are normally working with six villages of the Hunston Range. One area of their project area, or yeah, like that is Barry Nomo. Barry Nomo is a tribe which is made up by three villages, or people made up of three villages. There's Bitara, Kaigiru, and Bogabugi. So they speak... Kaigiru and Bitara, they speak one language, so Bogabugi speak their own language. And the Behenamo people, which is Wagu, Igai, and Gahom, so those three villages are also in a green light programs that when they normally have a trips in Hunston Rings. The origins of it were that uh, people from green light came here initially to assist people with uh, a battle against logging. That's a battle that's been long won and now four people, two men and two women, are to be chosen to come to the United Kingdom at a village meeting called a Tok Tok. Uh, here we come below, uh, Richard Nanajo. Only start long talk busy in your same dear mama, papa, brother, sister, and all picking in the blue hands in rents. Make him on them to laugh. Everyone has Salomon upside. All right, now, lucky is that time. And we play stuff in certain ounce like W and LMA. And we stop now. Okay, W. And we play the sour, but you are just sour now. We are new story like England, I bless our way. I'm one of you come out. So, at the first time, I did meet you when you go around in England. Any developer, any musky carbon trade, whatever, or man, very low pressure on the same. The place blowing you and protect them in paramen blowing you. So, you know, you, you, you know, been going to all people among you to meet you. The men will be coming to Suffolk to build a traditional meeting house, a house win. While the women will be looking at issues of health and nutrition. Not many of them have been gone already in England. This is the first time which they are trying to, you know, get four or five of them down there to UK to see their culture and to bring some of our culture things also, our idea or something like that down in England also. The first villager to be chosen to come on the exchange is Veronica. 
Next year I will go into England to see how we living in our area. I want to see a queen and how the England people build their house. In this village, there is no one going to school. Grade six up to grade ten, no one. Only me. I I go to grade six. Did my examination on uh, grade eight. I fast my examination and I go to Amundi High School. Did my grade nine and ten. But this is a story that may not be repeated for many years, as the local school is in a state of serious disrepair after the last teacher left in 2008. Despite this setback, the people of the Hunston Range still see benefit in carrying on the cultural exchange programme. My trip there was really important for myself, I, it's in a way that I see, but especially for the people of Anston Branch also. But I, it, it really totally changed me in some, some way of thinking and some way of doing things. Because when I just came back from there, now I feel like I can do what I have never done before. In Wagu, Andrew, a house builder, may also have been chosen to come on the exchange. My name is Andrew. I'm from uh, Wago, Hunston Ranch, and I'm building a new house. This, this box here, this is a long one here, this three of them here on the other side, on the other side also, they are the first box to go down to the ground. We use pay to dig the ground. Second, second step is rope. Up in the rope there, we've got some uh, brace up there. So it is to hold the house tight. And the third step is a floor and fourth step is walling. All the materials, we get them in the bush. Uh, it will, if, if by myself, it's going to take me a year to complete a house. If there is a helping hands, it will take me some months, like six, five months to finish. If the material is strong, then your house will be last long. If it is not good, then your house will be not stay longer. We protect forest because we need uh, materials to build house. Uh, we need a uh, canoe, we can build canoe, make canoe and fiddle and we hunt for animals to eat and water, we survive from the forest and we breathe good air, that's why we protect our forest. The people here talk about the green light, that they, they have got um, that relationship has been there for a long time. And they, they look at them as the, the saving grace of, of their forest. Because uh, they, 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 they talk about, you know, if, that, if the green light didn't come, they wouldn't be, you know, they would have been logging. And at this time, the forest stays still because of the influence that the green lights have on their community.